Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. Okay. So actually, this is the applications of residue. We are going to find a value of this integral of real valued functions. So we are finding the integration of real valued function with the help of residues. Okay. So what will I do? I will tell you the procedure first. Okay. Let us try to understand the procedure. And after that, by applying the same procedure, we will solve this example. See, the procedure I'm going to tell you that is applicable for this type of integrals. Integration 0 to 2 pi f of theta d theta. Okay, f of theta that means it is a function of theta just like having some cos theta, sin theta, e raised to theta like that. And limits of this integration must be 0 to 2 pi. Okay, so in this example also we have the same limits. Okay, so what we do first, first we put e raised to i theta is equal to z. Okay, so this is a common substitution. We always put this thing. So you, with the help of this substitution, this integral will be converted into integration like this. Okay, so we get by using this substitution, the integration will be converted into integration of some complex valued function. We get curve C and here C is always mod z is equal to one that means circle with center origin and radius one after that we find the singular points of this function okay so we have circle like this with center zero zero radius one we find a singular point some singular points will lie outside the circle some singular points will lie inside the circle singular points that means a point where the function is not analytic then we find identify the singular points which are lying inside the circle we find the residues getting we find residues and finally we are calling it as i finally the value of this integration is 2 pi i sum of residues okay we calculate residues only at those singular points which are lying inside a circle so this is the method let us recall the method again and then we will start to solve this problem we when you have this type of integration always we put e raised to i theta is equal to z using this substitution the problem integration will be converted into this form integration over c f of z z dz we have some complex valued function c is always mod z is equal to one cent circle with center 0 0 radius 1 then we find the singular points of this function some points will lie outside some points will lie inside we have to focus only on the singular points lying inside a circle we find residues of f of z at those singular points which are lying inside and the value of integration is 2 pi i in bracket sum of these residues okay so this is a procedure i'm going to follow it to solve this problem okay so let us start to solve this problem okay let me remove this part so what will I do first? I will call the given integral as i. We have, we have i is equal to integration 0 to 2 pi d theta upon 5 plus 3 sin theta. So as I told you earlier, we have to put e raised to i theta is equal to z. Putting e raised to i theta is equal to z. Okay, so after substitution, obviously we need to take derivative of both sides. So let us differentiate both sides with respect to theta. So derivative of e raised to i theta and on that side derivative of z with respect to theta. Derivative of, derivative of exponential function will be same. That means you will get e raised to i theta. But again, derivative of i theta by chain rule derivative of i theta is i dz by d theta so that d theta will shift on this side i e raised to i theta d theta is equal to dz but we know that e raised to i theta means what z let us put its value here i z d theta is equal to dz that means d theta is equal to dz upon iz so we got the value of let me write properly this is value of d theta okay so this value of d theta i am going to put here so let us go further we have sine theta so we have to find the sine theta in terms of z 
so let us use this space what we have sin theta na? now sin theta so we know that how to express sin theta in terms of exponential form so the formula is e raised to i theta minus e raised to minus i theta upon 2i so this is a relation between sin theta and e raised to i theta right this is equal to e raised to i theta minus it has minus sign so we can shift at denominator 1 upon e raised to i theta divided by 2i e raised to i theta means what e raised to i theta means z let us put its value so z minus 1 by z upon 2i we can cross multiply here z into z z square minus 1 upon z this 2i is also in denominator so 2iz so this is value of sin theta right so we have expressed d theta in terms of z we have expressed sin theta in terms of z let us talk about the curve now now so let us consider mod z okay so what is value of z e raised to i theta e raised to i theta so we know that how to express it in form of cos and sin e raised to i theta means cos theta plus i sin theta so mod cos theta plus i sin theta do you know how to find the value of mod mod x plus i y is root x square plus y square so the same formula we should apply at a place of x we have cos at a place of y we have sin so root cos square theta plus sin square theta which is 1 and root of 1 is 1 so we got mod z is equal to 1 mod z is equal to 1 that means a circle with center 0 0 radius 1 okay so let us continue let us write the integral now let us use this space therefore therefore i is equal to okay the same thing i am writing integration d theta value of d theta is dz upon iz dz upon iz and 5 plus 3 5 plus 3 value of sin theta z square minus 1 upon 2iz okay here i am writing c c so what will be our c where c is mod z is equal to 1 we have already calculated it what is value of mod z see actually the angle is 0 to 2 pi that means a complete circle we get with center 0 0 radius 1 so this is the equation of unit circle unit circle that means center 0 0 origin and radius is 1 okay uh, actually we need to solve it further so let us solve now integration over c dz upon iz what will i do i will cross multiply so 5 into 2 iz 10 iz plus 3 z square minus 1 upon 2 iz so this is equal to integration over c let us see what can we cancel here we can cancel i we can cancel z since both are in denominators iz here it was in denominator of numerator it was in denominator of denominator so those will get cancelled this 2 is in denominator of denominator it will shift to the numerator so you will get 2z at numerator 10iz we can solve this bracket 3z square minus 3 okay so finally we got this one there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it first then i will go further so let us note down the f of z okay what is f of z therefore f of z that means a function f of z is what is it here 2 upon we never consider dz dz comes for that integration okay 2 upon 3z square plus 10iz minus 3 so this is a given function okay this is the function we have so our next task is to find the singular points of this function that means a point where the function is not analytic so my suggestion is it is better to express the denominator as a product of factors then it will be very easy to find singular points okay so what will i do i will find out the factors of this polynomial you can easily see we have a polynomial of degree 2 in denominator let us find out its factors so how to find the factors getting 
so here 3 into minus 3 i am taking the coefficients of 3 and minus 3 it will be minus 9 right minus 9 minus 9 means 9i square since value of i square is minus 1 so we have to express 9i square okay we have to find the factors uh, 9i square such that their sum will be 10 high so obviously 9i into i their product will be 9i square and if you add them you will get 10i okay so therefore i can write so this is equal to 2 upon 3z square plus 9iz plus i minus 3 getting minus 3 or you can write 3i square i square means minus 1 so we can replace minus 3 by 3i square so this is equal to okay so let us continue let me remove this part tell me what can we take common from first two terms tell me what can we take common we can take 3 common we can take z common okay so in bracket you will have z plus 3i now tell me what can we take common from next two terms we can take i common so if you take i common you, we will have uh, see actually i z i should write so their sum will be 10iz so you can take here i common so z plus 3i so this is equal to 2 upon you can easily see z plus 3i z plus 3i we have we can take it common z plus 3i so in second bracket we have 3z plus i so finally we found out the factors of denominator so now we can easily find uh, its singular points okay so therefore f is not analytic f is not analytic if the denominator will be 0 z plus 3i 3z plus i will be 0 it means either the first bracket is 0 or the second bracket is 0 so let us solve them and find the value of z so z is equal to minus 3i by shifting 3 on that side and z is equal to i minus i and by shifting 3 on that side minus i by 3 so these are the singular points of f of z okay there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it then i will go further so let us find the singular points which are lying inside and which are lying outside this is imaginary axis this is real axis let us have some scaling 1 2 3 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 1 2 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 okay so we have a circle here with center 0 0 radius 1 so this type of circle we have right minus 3i it lies here minus 3i and minus i by 3 so minus i by 3 will be somewhere here minus i by 3 so you can easily see that minus 3i this point lies outside circle and this point lies inside circle so we have to focus only on that point which lies inside it means we have to find residue only at this point so let us mention clearly all these things here z is equal to minus 3i lies outside c and z is equal to minus i by 3 lies inside c okay it means we have to find residue only at this point agree uh, so how to find residue so definition of residue involves Lorentz series expansion it is very lengthy task instead of that we can use the formula to calculate residue since both are simple poles we are focusing on this so I should mention this is a simple pole. So we have a very simple formula to find residue. So residue of f of z at z is equal to minus i by 3. So it will be, okay, it will be, it's a simple pole. So we can write limit z tends to minus i by 3, z minus minus i by 3. So minus minus plus i by 3 f of z okay so this is equal to limit z tends to minus i by 3 we can cross multiply 3z plus i by 3 f of z where is my f of z this is our f of z let us put its value so it will be 2 upon z plus 3i 
एंड द सेकेंड वन इज थ्री जेड प्लस आई थ्री जेड प्लस आई सो टेल मी कैन वी कैंसल एनी थिंग डेफिनेटली दैट थ्री जेड प्लस आई थ्री जेड प्लस आई विल गेट कैंसल टू इच अदर ओके सो वी कैन अप्लाय द लिमिट्स टू द रिमेनिंग पार्ट ऑफ दिस फंक्शन अप्लाय द लिमिट्स दैट मीन्स एट अ प्लेस ऑफ जेड वी हैव टू पुट सिंपली माइनस आई बाई थ्री ओके सो लेट इज डू जस्ट मेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट ऑफ इट देन आई विल गो फर्दर सो लेट इज अप्लाय द लिमिट ओके सो एम अप्लाइंग द लिमिट हियर दिस इज इक्वल टू टू अपॉन थ्री एट अ प्लेस ऑफ जेड आई एम गोइंग टू पुट माइनस आई बाई थ्री माइनस आई बाई थ्री प्लस थ्री आई सो टू अपॉन थ्री वी कैन क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई माइनस आई प्लस थ्री इंटू थ्री नाइन आई अपॉन थ्री सो दिस थ्री थ्री विल गेट कैंसल टू इच अदर टू अपॉन नाइन आई माइनस आई एट आई टू टू कैंसल वन अपॉन फोर आई सो दिस इज अ रेसिड्यू राइट सो देर वॉज ओनली वन सिंग्युलर पॉइंट वॉज लाइंग इन साइड इट मीन्स इट वॉज इनफ टू फाइंड रेसिड्यू ओनली एट दैट पॉइंट वी गॉट इट सो लेट इज अप्लाई द लास्ट वन ओके सो देर फोर देर फोर द वैल्यू ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन जीरो टू टू पाई वॉट वी हैव देयर डी थीटा अपॉन फाइव प्लस थ्री साइन थीटा टू पाई आई सम ऑफ रेसिड्यूज but this time we have a single residue which is 1 upon 4i so i i will get cancel 2 2 also will get cancel and we get answer pi by 2 okay so this is a required answer just make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you in next video